Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the witch, the cauldron, the motion sensor, the wiper motor, the fog machine. So we're going to talk about all that today and how you can get one of these built with the cauldron, the lights, uh, the great stuff foam. So we're going to go and uh, check this out and I'll show you guys how I made this one. Pretty much out of nothing. It was just stuff that had laying around or I found on the side of the road. So we're going to go ahead and uh, talk about that and uh, see, how, see what you guys think of it. So be right back. So this is my witch. Not what you guys are used to seeing. I know you guys built a lot of yours a little bit differently. She does like to show a little skin every now and then. She kind of acts like a hoe. But there's the fog machine, how that's set up with the PVC pipe. And that just kind of shoots it off into the base of the cauldron. There's the uh, motion sensor that I did make on one of the last videos. Inside, I'm using just a plain Jane green uh, Jimmy Spotlight. You get those at Walmart uh, around Christmas time. I stock up on those. This is a uh, actually a flower pot that my mom had laying around, and uh, used to be red, so I painted it black. I got the little coals on the bottom. Uh, looks a lot better at nighttime, but she is set up on the motion sensor right now. Her face, I kind of this is actually a a mannequin uh, torso grafted onto a. Santa Claus uh, frame. The legs were from the Santa Claus, the arms are from the Santa Claus, and the hands were actually from the Santa Claus. Those are actually rubber. And I have those just screwed right onto a uh, broom handle. Let that shut off for a second. And I just ran some screws to the fingers. The wiper motor setup, that's actually from a uh, GMC Terrain. I uh, used to work at a GM dealership and they had a recall where the GMC terrains were leaking water uh, on the inside of the vehicle. So GM figured it was the uh, rubber grommets that went to the actual wiper uh, arms. So instead of just replacing just those rubber grommets, they replaced the whole thing. And I wound up scoring a whole bunch of these uh, wiper motors pretty much for free. And that's wired into a uh, Amazon speed controller. It's wired on the fastest setting on here, but the speed controller will allow me to slow that down. And on the back side is where the AC DC converter is. So that's pretty much how that's set up. The uh, legs you can see are pretty much just the, the Santa Claus legs uh, with expanding foam into these old boots that my wife had laying around and those are actually screwed on to a piece of plywood screwed on to some 2 by 6s There's some reinforcement brackets behind that to kind of stiffen her up because she did like to slump over. She's real top heavy. There goes the fog machine again. You can see how that shoots in there. Gives it a nice creepy tone. So when I step in front of it, motion sensor turns on and she starts a spinning. Not a lot of people like to use like dry ice and stuff, but uh, I figured the fog machine works well enough. When you're driving past her at night, she's real, she's real creepy looking. I don't have any speakers or anything on her yet to where she's screaming or talking witches' tales, which would be cool, you know, her saying some creepy stuff to the kids. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is a uh, witch's outfit I got. It's, uh, I think, a women's small. So that's the actual witch's outfit. We had the wig already. It did come with the hat. I used a couple of, uh, 
staples in the head and then filled the uh, filled the hat with some uh, I think trash bags or something I think there's like trash bags because she kept kept blowing over this is actually the jaw from a uh, skeleton I grind it off her nose I wanted her to look real demonic looking like she's been feasting on small children for a while she's got the cape it's actually like a crushed velvet material all the joints are all done real loosely uh, so she can't move but it, it does kind of rub on her a little bit no matter how many times I try to adjust this arm she still kind of wants to do her own thing but it's time to throw some zip ties on her dress because it's starting to sag or she's losing weight one of the two she's hungry so yeah that's how the motion sensor set up uh, to the orange lights I just poked a few through the bottom I used to keep it on a constant and now I just put it on the timer or the uh, motion sensor so I got the green light the uh, motor and then the orange lights all hooked to the uh, the sensor fog machines hooked to a constant which I have the PVC pipe on there I had to put an extension on it because it was a little bit too close so I kind of keep that off in the distance and it makes it easy so when I check the fluid I think I have that set on uh, where it goes off every two minutes for about five or ten seconds I can't remember so yeah it's a quick little demonstration on how that thing works I know everybody builds theirs and they look awesome you guys out there do a really good job with the uh, PVC pipe frame and making it to where the witch slumps over and her head comes up I'm poor I, I use what I could find somebody had given me this mannequin years ago and uh, then I was out picking one day and I found that uh, Santa Claus laying on the side of the road but he had a good skeleton to him so I just pretty much grafted the top half of the mannequin to the skeleton the adjustable skeleton legs use the arms and the hands and then just kind of piece this together you know it's not a real cauldron it's just a big bucket got for free free wiper motor you know had to pay 20 bucks for the outfit a little bit of expanding foam I don't know five or six bucks the Jimmy spotlights from uh, Walmart those are about I want to say ten or twelve dollars and then uh, somebody gave me a whole Tupperware container big tote full of these orange LED lights I mean probably 30 or 40 rolls about 20 foot you know 25 foot long rolls brand new in the package they just said you know what take them I don't want them but yeah that's how it works and if I want to slow her down I just take this little knob it's right here and I could slow it down to where it goes to almost and then turn it off click the switch back on and I could turn it back on so it's real slow or I can make it go real fast seems like when she's going faster her clothes want to come off don't know why but that's my witch's cauldron setup uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video I know it was kind of a spur of the moment thing but I figured I'd get that thing out she needed a little TLC while I had the fog machine out and the uh, sensor I figured I'd do a little video and uh, I'll add some clips at the end so you guys could see some pictures of how this thing was built from uh, from the beginning it's, it's pretty disturbing but in the garage right now it's uh it's getting pretty fogged out so I'm gonna go ahead and end it right here appreciate you guys hanging out watching the videos means a lot uh, it's about as much as I could do right now um, we're not going to do Halloween this year for unforeseen situation that I had beginning of the year had a heart attack wound up losing my job and it's been uh, it's been pretty stressful it's been uh, it's been a hard time you know mental health wise it's been hard to find a job it's hard to get back out there I didn't do anything wrong at my job it was just they needed to find a way to get rid of me after that heart attack their insurance went up and so they used some 
bullshit excuse to get rid of me so now we just we don't have the funds to do Halloween like we used to so I figured this year I'd show people how I like to do it and how I like to build things instead of wasting all my time setting up I'd rather expand that uh, knowledge on to you guys and uh, let you see kind of how I do things well we got a lot of other stuff to talk about we're gonna talk about the uh, the motion activated casket that wooden one I'm going to get him out one of these days. I need help and get him on that table, a work table, and I'll show you guys how that works. Pretty much the same way this motor works, except it's on uh, sideways inside, and it's got a skeleton that opens and closes that. So stay tuned for that video. That'll, that'll be coming up here maybe in a week or so. Till then, we'll see you guys.